Hey water signs, welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for May 13th, 2019. This is for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And look at you there, coming out at the top of your reading. In the upright, having a lot of feelings for somebody, but not knowing how to express it. Um, really doing some soul searching on where, where you want to put your heart. The person you are dealing with is the Queen of Pentacles. She's been showing up in every reading today. Um, somebody who's very independent, somebody that um, can take care of themselves. They love and nurture um, themselves, their family, their home. Uh, but right now, you guys have, she has your her back to you. So, you're coming in with the Ten of Cups next. You guys are on equal vibration though. So, this is a good match for the two of you. Let's get another one for your person. Wow, the Ace of Pentacles. Look at this. Let's see what we got here. Way too many. Another one for our... Oh my gosh, they were the same three. Well, apparently, they're coming out. All right, can I get three, four water signs person then? Balance out the energy. Two more for water science person. Thank you. That was the one that I just flipped and put back. I thought I better wait for it to fall out because I always do. So if I start pulling them out now, that was the exact one that I pulled out. I love when my angels do that. Holy cow, look at all these people. Look at all these court cards. We got the King of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the King of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. You do have stability coming in for you. You do have a happy home coming after some healing um, and some work on your part. Uh, water signs, but all right. So we will start here at the top. Like I said, you're coming in. You have a lot of love. To give you just don't express it the way that uh, somebody um, wants you to you are dealing with somebody who's very um, very loving very caring very nurturing um, provides for themselves you know they have a job plus they come home and cook and clean and take care of the kids and the house and the laundry um, this person is uh, very uh, like mother like like mother hen to everybody like the neighbor kids everybody um yeah she just loves to take care of people and you do love her very much so but there's some there's a rift here um wow okay so this is kind of this is a little different than I've seen in a long time. So uh, you're wanting this happy life, this fulfill, this emotional fulfillment, this, this love, this just the Ten of Cups, sunshine and rainbows. Um, they're manifesting a, uh, an opportunity financially um, as well as different abundance. But um, they're creating their good karma they're taking care of people they're put constant energy into the universe they're getting back a gift um, of an opportunity to move forward and create um, something pretty big so you are at a crossroads my friends you have a choice to make um this is this is so crazy okay so you have a choice to make between these two people. You have the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. 
Um, there is some sneaking around going on here. There is some, uh, some third-party energy going on here. But you're trying to figure out which path is going to lead you to this happiness. Which path is going to bring you the most satisfaction. You know you have unconditional love for one of these. Um, you know who you want to pick. But you're trying to decide how, which path that is. Where am I going? Where do I go from here? Um, there, the person that you want to pick is not the person you're with. They are absent in this, in your, uh, energy right now. They are at a distance. Like, you know, they're not the one you are committed to. We'll just say that they are the one that you are doing this with. Um, like I said, there is two energies here. This one is very, um, very decisive, very matter of fact. Um, she sometimes comes off cold, but she just has a heart of gold and that's what attracts you to her. She, there's so much more than what is on the surface and that could be man or woman. I say her cause that's what it is on the card, but this person, um, you know, they, they seem really like, like distant, but inside they just have just a pure heart of gold. Um, they are finding out, someone's finding out about this whole situation here. Um, but for some of, for some of you, the person that you are committed to, you are having a third party on them, but they are also having a third party on you. Um, and it is their perfect pair. So if this is you on this side, water sign, pick whatever side is, um, resonating, uh, they know about they know about your third party or this side knows about this side's third party because of the uh sneaking around and the deceit this side does not know um the full degree of this i don't feel this has been um sexual yet it's more of an emotional affair more that's why this side does not know about it um or you think they're just friends or and it hasn't gotten into anything sexual from what I can see here. But they know they're soulmates. They know there's a connection here unlike any other. And they know that they have this new beginning as well. But they're trying to figure out how to cut themselves out of this situation without doing a bunch of damage. Because they don't want to hurt um, the other person. I told you it was crazy. Now, this side is going to get mad at this side, even though this side has a third party, too. But, because I see fights, but this is all a blessing, a blessing in disguise. Go with the flow. They want to go with this person, let them. They want to have this new beginning with this person, more power to you. Because this person is who's going to bring you this. This person that you are not committed to is the one that you're going to create a new life and a new world with. Um, that's why you keep sinking around with them. You know that there's something special about them. You know that, that there's something just you can't, you can't get over about them. And it's bringing you in many blessings. It's bringing you in um, a lot of happiness. This is karma, um, dealing with the ups and downs of life. Let this one go. If they're going to leave with this person, because you have your new beginning with somebody as well. Now, your guys' outcome for the day, or yeah, your guys' outcome is the Hierophant, the Ten of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Rods, and the Seven of Rods. Okay, so your, like I said, this is their perfect match. This is yours. Um, you're going to... Um, figure it out. You're going to figure out a way to make this work. You're going to figure out a way to come together um, with this person because it's so much more than what meets the eye. It's so much more spiritual, so much more connected. Um, and you could be, for some of you, you could be uh, looking to a marriage counselor too to see if you can save this. Um, but at the end of the day, you're both going to decide that the, the heaviness of this is too much. Um, that you both want to become independent. You both want to move on from this relationship. It is going to be mutual. And you are going to move towards that other person very quickly. Um, 
Yeah, because because there's something about this connection that you're willing to take on the world just to be with this person. And now that the one you're committed to is leaving, um, it's freeing you up and allowing your blessings then to come in because you are having um, a hard time committing to this person because you were very in and out because you had somebody at home that you had to nurture and have a relationship with and share energy with. But you guys are all going to lay down this burden um, and move both into your guys' spiritual path. Now, that was a mess. I hope you guys, I hope you understood that because there's four people in this situation, not a third party. There's four. And you guys are kind of, two of you are splitting up and you're both going with your third parties is what um, I'm saying. All right. So, separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. It's coming because... Yeah, it's coming. This separation is coming. Um, the bottom of your deck is clarified with deception. Somebody is wearing a false mask in this relationship. More than likely, you both are. So if you're on this side, make sure you're not getting mad at this side because you have a third party as well. Um, that's just kind of crazy. So I do see you both um, just laying this down and, and, and going your separate ways. Um, I don't see this being a horrible fight um, as far as, I mean, there's going to be sadness around it because, I mean, there is love there, but um, I think you're both going to agree that you're better off doing your own thing. So, all right, Water Signs, that was kind of a crazy reading. I hope it wasn't too confusing, um, but I will see you guys tomorrow. God bless.